Hey you, it's Kyla Lou and super fun and random fact. Did you know you can't smile without your tongue touching the top of your mouth? Oh, look at that smile. It's so cute. Welcome to today's episode of Funnels Decoded, where we're gonna funnel hack some funnels and uncover the strategies that they are using in their own business so we can build profitable sales funnels of our own in half the time. I'm super pumped for this video, so I'm gonna make this intro short, but I do always like to cover two things before we jump in. So one, if you don't know what a sales funnel is, basically it's like a website, it's just set up a little bit differently. And like always, I will have some videos down in the description below, giving you some more info on what a sales funnel is, if that short description, you know, isn't enough. But that's all really you need to know for this episode. And two, funnel hacking does not mean copying, just modeling. So we're not here to take any graphics or copy or anything like like that off of these funnels except for the strategies that they are using let's go our next door neighbors probably hate me okay let's go ahead and set myself a 15 minute timer like always I do this so these videos don't go for forever and I can still keep your guys's attention if you end up watching the entire video but let's go ahead and set that and click start okay so really quick we had a little bit of funnel craziness in the last episode and if you have no clue what I'm talking about go back and check out that episode because I was going to start funnel hacking this one funnel I was super pumped had it in my mind all ready to go and then I pulled the funnel up and it didn't load right like something was up with the funnel then I had to switch gears really fast and we ended up looking at another funnel now I checked it right before I hopped onto this episode and the funnel that I originally wanted to look at looks like it's working so <laughs> Hopefully it stays that way, but we did start looking at another funnel page in the last episode and I want to go and finish that really quick before jumping to that other funnel that I wanted to look at. And the funnel that we were looking at at the end of the last episode was the page we were looking at is pretty short. So I think we can go through this, you know, fairly quickly and then we can jump over to that other funnel that I wanted to look at. We got this. I'm, I'm super pumped and super excited. So. We were talking and we were looking at how to identify the hook, story, and offer. And I'm an idiot and I accidentally deleted the page we were using in the last episode to track our hook, story, and offer. So we're gonna just not use that and we're just gonna talk about it, okay? So I apologize, we did have the hook written out and we didn't have the story and the offer, okay? But let's finish looking at this page, okay? So again, this is Garrett, one of J Garrett J. White's funnels really awesome funnel super awesome guy too i love what he's doing and he really does have beautiful looking funnels so last time we were talking about this title right here and how this is the hook and so what we wrote down was how to and then blank without blank and that's a really good structure for creating hooks at the top of your funnel because we want something that's going to create curiosity we want something right at the top of the page that's going to inspire incentivize, uh, encourage our viewers to keep reading or keep looking at the rest of the funnel, okay? So let's check this out. So after our hook, we're now looking for the story and the offer on this page because every single page of our funnel should have somewhat of a hook, story, and offer, okay? And that's really what makes funnels really good. So right here, and five powerful cash flow strategies and mindsets you can insert into your business today to unlock and predictably pull in more profits every month. So that is really great copy, but let me know down in the comments below. Do you guys think that's some part of a hook or do you think that's the offer? Okay, because I think that's definitely part of the offer. We have five powerful cash flow strategies. Okay, so that's, that's pretty specific and mindset, so that might be part of the offer, but we've also got this video. So I'm gonna say that that isn't the story. I actually think this video is the story. Now, we're not gonna watch this video because that's gonna take way too long, but you guys can go check out this video yourself. And again, let me know down in the comments below. Um, again, I'll have this funnel linked in the description that you guys can check out, but go and watch this video because this video is where he tells a little bit of his story and then we've got the offer, which is this, I believe, right here, and then this right here on the right-hand side. So the offer is enter your first name and email, so you're getting this for free, to get five powerful cash flow strategies and mindsets and that you can insert into your business. Yeah, so that's kind of, that's really all it is. That's really what we do when we funnel hack, is we, one, we need to choose the funnels that we're gonna funnel hack, and I talked about it in the last episode, so if you guys wanna look at 
what types of funnels to choose when you're funnel hacking, go ahead and check out that episode. We also then can look, what was I talking about? I've lost my train of thought. Um, Oh, what types of funnels we are looking at to funnel hack. And then when we jump in and funnel hack, the best way to funnel hack is by going through the funnel and either buying, or in this case, you don't have to buy the product, you actually get it for free, but go through this sales funnel and if Garrett J. White offers upsells or downsells or he makes other offers in the funnel, check those out, take screenshots, buy really slowly throughout the funnel so then you can see the entire process and you're going to be looking at the hook story and offer on every single page. Maybe they have it, maybe they don't, maybe they have multiples of hooks or maybe multiple stories, right? We're just going in and we're analyzing. So when we go into our own sales funnels, we can take these strategies and integrate them in and hopefully our sales funnels will do better faster, right? That's the whole, the whole purpose. So there you guys go. That's really all we're looking at on this page. If we scroll down a little bit, protect your profits, produce more profits, find protect your profits, produce more profits, find your purpose in your profits. Okay. So this is, it sounds like their tagline, warrior, warrior wealth, hidden secrets of the vault. Then they've got an earning disclaimer down here at the bottom. So really awesome, really on brand for Garrett J. White. And as we go through and look at his other funnels, you'll see that as well. But I also think it's really cool that he's got this video in the background, like the video in the background of this funnel that's playing in a sense is a hook right? So it's not actually the copy in this case, that's the hook, but the design of the video playing in the background. Now I love that it's not too like bright. It's dark enough that I can still read the text on the funnel page. Good. But it's like the movement of the video playing is a hook and draws my eyes to it. So that's also something to keep in mind and to note for your own funnels. Maybe you can do something like a video like this in your funnels or your website. I actually, so I use click funnels to build all of my funnels and I actually learned how to add a video as a background in your funnels. And it's the coolest and easiest thing ever. So I can obviously make a video on that if you guys are interested, but super, super cool. And again, something like that, you're going to want to note. So I think we're all good there. Again, drop down in the comments, what you guys think the hook, the story and the offer is. And I think we're going to go ahead and transition to the other funnel that I wanted to look at. Okay. So let me go ahead and pull that up. Okay. So the first thing that I want to do when we look at this funnel is I want to check out the load time with you guys. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste the link here into Google. Now it is a, it might be a little bit slower because I am recording my screen here, but let's check out the load time together. So let's go ahead and actually, I'm going to paste it up here. Okay and let's check it out. Oh good, the funnel, it looks normal. <laughs> All right, so that was pretty fast. Like, that was awesome. That was super quick. Like, you know, I wasn't actually counting, but less than five seconds, I love it. Bec and I'm actually surprised by that because this funnel page has a lot of content on it. And so a way that you can uh, decrease load time is by making sure that all of your images on your funnel are, you know, smaller sizes, as small of a size as you can get without decreasing the quality that your videos are smaller sizes, like the smaller size everything is, the faster it's going to load, right? So that's something to keep in mind. So here we have the funnel that we were supposed to look at last time. I'm so excited to show you guys this because this funnel is super dope. Okay, so we're gonna be looking at the hook story and offer on this page. So let's pull up my page again. And this is what I like, this is what I encourage you guys to do when it comes to your funnel as well. And our mailman's gonna come and put some mail in the door. So one second. Okay, we're good. Didn't wanna stop my recording and so let's carry on. So what I would recommend that you guys do is obviously you can do this on a piece of paper. You can do this on a whiteboard of your own. You can do this on your computer, however you guys want to do it. So I would make a note of what page you're making or taking note of the hook story and offer. So I just, I'm going to write this page. Now, if you don't know exactly what the page is, that's okay. If you guys want to actually check out the video that I made of the 10 most common sales funnels, I'll link that down in the description below. But obviously until you go through the entire funnel, you're not really going to know. So what I often will do is I'll take a brief look at the page. Now to me, this is, you know, a sales page, right? So I'm going to go ahead, place that in here. So I know that the sales page, the hook stories offers for that. And then as you go throughout the funnel, if you're buying, 
you can go through and look at this page and maybe this page is an offer and maybe this page is an upsell and maybe there's a second upsell right or maybe there's a downsell and what does the confirmation page look like and I also want to note too you guys can do this for Facebook ads or any ads that you see you can funnel hack those you can also funnel hack emails so I know that a lot of people I hear oh just like I hate you know reading emails I hate getting emails in my inbox but it actually can be an asset to you pay attention to the types of emails that maybe draw your attention what was the subject line that they were using and I know we're getting a little off topic from the funnel but like you can actually funnel hack emails as well and that can be a huge advantage so here we are on our page so let's write the hooks okay so let's place that right there then we've got the story okay and then we have the offer hopefully you guys can see that okay with my see my recording is going to be down here on the screen so maybe i'll put the offer over here so it's a little bit easier to see okay but i want you guys all to know that it's this is all for this sales page here okay so let's go ahead and take a look at this so we've got some stuff up here at the top and i do i realize why this funnel uh was being weird so this right here that you can see time sensitive begins monday so it's actually a monday that i'm filming this on and last week I tried to film this on a Tuesday and I think the day after the thing closes, the, the challenge, cause this is a challenge that this funnel is promoting, the funnel like freaks out before it resets. So it like resets every single week and there's a timer. So the timer actually is at zero. So I was kind of freaking out that it was gonna freak out on me again, but I think we're okay. But when I did it on Tuesday, it's like the funnel's resetting and then it goes back and it's okay later in the week. So that's why it was freaking out. Um, but let's check this out. So warrior expansion, how to unlock unlimited power, profits, and purpose in your business, marriage, and life starting right now. So there's our hook. Okay. So we've got a how to hook. Okay. So let's make a note of that. So I have it on my notes here. Now we don't want to, I don't want to write the entire title because I don't want to copy it. Right. But I want to copy the strategy of it. How to. Okay. So let's go ahead place that right there and he's got how to unlock unlimited power profits and purpose in your business and marriage and life so how to do something in blank okay so how to do something in blank and then they, we have like a timeline like a date like starting right now or in the next 15 days or in the next 30 minutes right so let's do how to we've got a little blank here okay we've got the words in something so maybe I can utilize that in my funnels as well and then you know we've got a blank here but I also want to make note that then there's a timeline okay so maybe depending on what I'm doing with my funnel I can integrate that and give people a specific timeline on when they would learn how to do this okay skeptical good just watch and I love that he did that because Oftentimes with hooks, people may think that they're clickbaity. You don't want to be untruthful in your hooks, okay? But you want to be able to word your copy in a way that's going to build that curiosity, want them to learn more because someone might read that and go, how to unlock unlimited power, profits, and purpose in your business and marriage and life starting right now. Because some people who are on the sales funnel might believe that, oh, I can have a successful business, but if I have that, I can't have a successful marriage. Or if I have, you know, this, I can't have this, right? So they might look at that and go, okay, people have trust issues on the internet. And that makes sense because there's a lot of not great content out there on the internet. We're overflowed with information all the time. So naturally people are skeptical. And I love that he called that out and said, good, just watch. So now let's take a look for a sec at the design here. So we've got an image here in the background. So that's something to take note of. Maybe you could put an image in the background of your funnel too. Again, make sure that it's dark enough that you can read the text, but this hook is right there in the center. So what I would recommend you do is you put your hook right in the center at the top of your sales funnel. And if you have a logo, maybe you have the logo and then the hooks. Okay, right there. Skeptical, good, just watch. And then we've got a video, okay? Now this video is awesome, all right? so. I actually, let me turn this down here so it doesn't blare in your guys' ears. But this video is, let's see, it's a long one, like 34 minutes, but really cinematic and it's really big too. So it takes up a lot of my screen. 
and I haven't actually watched this entire video. Again, I'll have this sales funnel as well linked down in the description below. So if you guys want to watch this video, you can, but this video is going to have a lot of the story in it. So let's go ahead, go over here to our story and we have a video. Okay. So after the hook, Garrett J. White has a video playing. So for you, if you wanted to utilize that strategy in your sales funnel, let me turn this back up so I can hear my timer. You can also have a video there as well. Okay. Now let's look what's next. So 8,104 people plus have taken this life altering challenge already. Do you choose to be next? And then there's a call to action. So as far as the structure, they've got an, another section right here underneath the video. They've got a call to action on the right hand side and some text on the left. And that layout there is something you can pay attention to. But what I also need you to pay attention to is there's a call to action right underneath the video. Okay. Hey friends, if you're looking for a high quality software that's going to help you build sales funnels in minutes, then I want to recommend to you my favorite tool, ClickFunnels. Now you might be asking yourself, is this video sponsored by ClickFunnels? No. Am I an affiliate for ClickFunnels? <laughs> Yes, but I genuinely love and use ClickFunnels for my business. And hey, don't just take my word for it. ClickFunnels has helped over a thousand people just like you and me earn over a million dollars through one single funnel and earn the prestigious two comma club award. That's a pretty good track record if you ask me. Cue cool transition. If you want to get started building your very own sales funnels today, then go ahead and grab your two week free trial linked down in the description below. Okay, there you guys go. I'm so happy that we got to look at the funnel that I originally wanted to look at. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really does help support my channel. I appreciate you guys so much. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I love hearing from my people. I love hearing from you guys. And it just, it means the world to me that you take the time to comment. And I really appreciate that. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will catch you on the next video. Bye dudes.